sorry guys, my camera cut out because my phone battery is f is low. Um, so I've plugged my phone in, hopefully it doesn't happen again. My nan is on her way to see me, so I'm going to make this quick. Um, this is my 29, 30, 31 and start of 32 week update. Symptoms, I've had some heartburn, I've been drinking the Gaviscon um, medicine liquid, that's been really helping. Uh, that is getting worse now and I've noticed it's more frequent at night time. Um, that's just part and parcel of being pregnant. Uh, sleep wise with insomnia I've been using these Sanderson's Magnesium 1000 I just break them in half uh, this Rescue Remedy Spray Relief from Feelings of Stress which is actually really good tastes terrible though um, and if I'm really bad and I really can't sleep and I wake up and it's still before midnight um, I have one of these um, you need some sleep tabs nighttime sleep aid so these are the 25 milligram tablets they're the chewable um no they're not chewable one tablet per dose i've only had to have that once um i actually got these from ebay from america um just because so many mums had had success with those um but yeah, it's generally not that bad. And generally when I do have insomnia, it's because I wake at like 4 in the morning or 5 to go toilet. And it's <laughs> hard to get back to sleep because it's nearly morning. And I've got so much to do that I'm thinking, oh, what can I do now? And it's like I need to actually get those few hours of sleep. Um, I'm going to do a video today as well of my room slash nursery, which is our room. As you can see, he's going to sleep there which is right next to our bed. Um, I'm going to move these drawers so he's just right next to the bed. We got a new king size bed. Brand new. New mattress. I thought I'd treat us to that because I was getting very sore and actually since we've got it I've noticed that the SPD like pains I was experiencing have been really improved um, my hip pains a lot better um, my old queen bed the springs were really old and it was just it was it was yeah it was quite creaky so it was time we needed a new bed um, with all the kids you know this is going to be our sixth sixth son we've got this is our third son together and we've got three other boys which are Daniel's previous relationship um, which we have in our care and so six boys we needed a big bed where we can just sprawl out and cuddle and have the kids in our bed and yeah we've got the big tv as well over there um because we've got a new tv in our lounge we've got a 55 inch so that's been nice being able to know that when i'm breastfeeding him and when i'm stuck in my room feeding because i don't really like it being on show around the older boys you know, with them being 10, 11 and 12, you know, breastfeeding's quite, um, I don't really like covers. So I will be buying a nursing cover, but I'll probably be sitting in, in here in my room as well. Um, knowing that I can play on the PlayStation or watch Netflix or, you know, have a good sized TV in here to keep me, me, um, company is good. Um, coming to the end of winter here, it's still fairly cold. Um, I've been finding it hard to fit clothing. Um, I bought a couple of pairs of pants that um, stretch up to the tummy button. Um, symptoms wise, um, the SPD like sort of hip pain I was getting with walking and the crutch and stuff uh, is pretty normal but I have been referred to physio and I have my first appointment this week. I also made myself a pregnancy chiropractic appointment for next week so that I can see the chiropractor and um, just see if, if she can put me into alignment with my neck and my back. Being a healthcare assistant for so long, I feel like all the heavy lifting, um, she's probably going to do me some good. So I think that'll be handy. It's not cheap though. Um, he's a good baby. He sleeps a lot. He's, he, he does have moments where he moves heaps. But generally he, he doesn't move all the time. So I think he's going to be a chilled out, relaxed baby. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. Um, I don't have gestational diabetes, but my test results came back high. So my midwife referred me to the hospital for appointments and scans and four weekly scans. So I've got another growth scan uh, on Wednesday. 
um, and I'll be 32, I'm 32 weeks now, so um, I look forward to that and seeing how big he's gotten. The last one it was a 4D scan, 3D, 4D that I got and I could see him so clearly and it was so cool. Uh, I could see his little face and nose and eyes and, you know, see him moving in his little hand and it was really choice. So I'm looking forward to seeing him again, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to afford um, the 3D one again. But um, I've just gotten over this cough that I've had. I've had a cough for about five weeks, six weeks, and um, I didn't get tested for COVID, so I'm not sure if it was that, but... It's been re really yucky, so I'm glad that that's gone, it's going away. Um, just getting bigger really, I'll do a bump shot for you guys before my nana gets here. As you can see. That's 32 weeks. <coughs> See that yucky cough? <coughs> Goodness. Sorry, guys. He's starting to get his bum up in my ribs now. And my midwife said that I haven't got much space up there now to go. And she also fell his head and it was um, slightly engaged the other day. So he has head down. Um, she said it was back to back, she thought. So she gave me some positions like down with dog and stuff yoga positions and hands and knees to try and keep him from being posterior um, which I'm doing and I'm using my smiley belt when I can um, with physio she's going to get me an extension I'm hoping this week when I see her so that should be all I need because my tummy gets quite heavy at times and my hernia my hernia just here if you can see that but there's a lump but it's sore my hernia hurts a lot so that's like my main problem right now is my hernia gets sore and if somebody bumps it and it's like so tender at the end of the day when I'm tired and if someone bumps it, it's like art um, so that's probably my main yucky thing about pregnancy right now um, thinking about some names for him partner and I have been throwing around some names we haven't really got any we like there's a couple we both sort of like but it's just really hard to agree um on a name um and because it's our sixth son uh, it's hard because a lot of the names we've chosen already so um so I think that's about it really I need to still buy some more breastfeeding singlets and I need to get um, just a couple more things. I've written down something that I'm quite interested in. It's called Owlet. It's like a monitor for their foot or leg. And I think that would be quite cool just to hook up to your phone. Um, so I'm going to look into that. And a snoo. I'll look into those. And baby shushes. I think baby shushes are meant to be quite cool. But they never had these products when I had my other boys. So they're all new. Um, they're not necessity, but they're just things to look into looking into getting a tens machine um hiring one just for when i've labor just to give that a go because i've never used a tens before and i want to go for natural again um hopefully in the pool because i was in the pool for hours with riley and it really helped i need to get some more nursing bras as well and a cover i could use a muslim i'll just cross that out now i'll just use a muslim just a muslim wrap chuck it over Nice and because he's gonna be summer baby, so that'll be nice and cool for him. And a peri bottle so that I can squirt myself down there. Um my hospital bag's done. I wanna do a video about that at some point. I'll do that. I'll have to do that. Um that's about it. Maybe a robe for the summer like because i've got a big warm dressing gown but i might just get like a nice summery robe that i can just like chuck over myself and stuff so that when i have him in the hospital i can just have a robe on and that way um for like visitors and feeding and stuff it's not um i'm not so exposed it wasn't such an issue with joel four years ago because our boys were still um six 
7 and 8 at that stage. But now they're 10, 11 and 12 and Damien's nearly 13. And, and so there'll be 11, 11 and 13 soon. So it'll be in September, like just right around when he's born, they'll be like 11, 11 and 13. So it's going to be, they're quite a bit older and they're getting more like sort of noticing girls. And so like me having my bits on display is kind of like, like they're my stepchildren. So I think it's a bit different with your own children. Like, even though I've had them in my life for eight years and I love them to bits and, like, you know, give them a cut or whatever, it's still a little bit different. That is just that that little that aspect of difference um, and more sort of conscious about it, really. Um, I didn't have to cover up before and it was never an issue. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to go. It's going to be different. Um, but anyway, I better go because it's 10, 11 minutes now. So... Take care, everybody, and um, send me a comment if you want to chat. If you're in New Zealand and you're a mum with many boys or many children, I'd be keen to get to know you. I don't know many mums with lots of kids. I'm going to look at doing, like, a grocery haul tomorrow because I'm going to do a big shop. Um, just some of the things we use weekly. Um, Later on, when I'm not so busy, I might look at doing, um, once I have baby, maybe, like, a meal video like um some recipes let me know what you want to see um can do morning routine whatever works like you know we've got we're gonna have six boys but obviously not everybody wants to see that stuff so maybe just i don't know yeah anyway take care guys and i'll see you later